The space shuttle program left a bittersweet legacy, pride in what it could do, heartache for those lost. America remembers the crews and the challenge in Columbia disasters, but after each tragedy, a key part of their missions vanished from public view. Now the world's getting a first look at the wreckage. It is at the Kennedy Space Center. Mark Albert is at another home to NASA exhibitions, Smithsonian's National Air and Space Museum in Washington. Mark, good morning. Good morning. We've been able to see models of the doomed shuttle like this one of Columbia, but not the 160 tons of recovered pieces. Now NASA has decided to stop hiding that part of the past and use it to provide inspiration for the future. Beneath the last shuttle to take off are the remains of the two that never landed. What do you want people to feel when they walk in here? When they first enter the exhibit, I want them to feel the presence of the crew. Mike Cinelli led the creation of the forever remembered exhibit at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. He felt NASA's grief firsthand as an engineer working on Columbia's last flight. The shuttle had spent 16 days in space. On February 1st, 2003, just 16 minutes from home. I believe you're seeing the, the spacecraft breaking apart. It disintegrated as it re-entered the Earth's atmosphere. Cinelli helped in the search from the air and the ground. A decade later, he would look again for a symbol of what was lost. When you see this piece of Columbia, what do you see? These are the windows of Columbia. These are the eyes of Columbia. And through this, we can see her soul. It almost looks like there's still mud and grass caked in the windows. And there is. Those pieces of, of mud and dirt and grass are actually uh, what happened during impact on the ground. You didn't clean it up? Didn't clean it up. Um, they're preserved for the future, but we wanted to keep that story intact of what these pieces went through. On January 28, 1986, with the nation watching, Challenger exploded 73 seconds after liftoff. Challenger, go and throttle up. NASA decided to bury the wreckage deep underground. Cinelli opened the sealed vault for the first time two years ago to pick just one object. When you saw that piece, what did you think? heart fluttered. We saw a little piece of red. The red of the flag. The red of the flag. And then dusting that off, you could just see the flag come more into view. Um, and then we knew we had it. This was the piece. The exhibit also features the largest collection of personal objects from the two crews, loaned by 11 of the 14 families. A Star Trek lunchbox, a Cub Scout uniform, young adventurers who would become legends. Um, so it's important to get that sense um, of the magnitude of the sacrifice and the loss. Um, so we redouble our efforts never to have this happen again. But not all of NASA's scars are on display. The space agency decided not to show the now iconic images of the disasters in flight. Instead, videos show the recovery efforts and some of the handwritten letters from children. One wrote, I know being an astronaut is dangerous, but they were brave enough to follow their dreams. It's the power of those letters that still moves June Scobie Rogers. We had rooms full of letters. Her husband, Dick Scobie, was the Challenger commander. One of their two children, Kathy, picked the items for her dad's display case at the exhibit. She chose things that were memorable to her. And the helmet, I mean, she remembers times sitting around our dining room table where he would put on that goofy helmet that made us all laugh. But to see their individual remembrances is a nice reminder and honor for them and the way they lived. Since the exhibit opened quietly in June, some visitors have come to touch, others to teach. Many mourn what might have been. They didn't come home, and uh, I, I don't ever want to have to go through that again. Bob Cabana, a former astronaut, flew on Columbia on a previous mission and is now the director of the Kennedy Space Center. Why not leave the past buried. Some would say this o opens a wound all over again. I don't think it opens a wound. I, you know, it's our history. It says who we are as a nation, uh, that we don't let adversity stop us. The same preservation company that worked on pieces of the Titanic prepared the shuttle wreckage for display. Now, NASA has decided not to promote or advertise the exhibit so as not to be seen as exploiting the tragedies. The display is now permanent. Nora? Mark, wonderful reporting. Yeah. What a great story. Indeed. I would love to go see that. And it's important to know your history. Absolutely. In every way. No, I remember watching the, the Challenger in 1986. Yeah. My whole classroom watched and then watching it explode and teachers sort of trying to figure out what to do with everybody because mm -hmm. it was so traumatic.
Well, as I said, you can't bury the past, right? Right. So Indeed. important to remember.